Hi, this is Bren Antrim, one of the librarians here at Santa Monica College. Today we're going to do a quick database tour of one of our most commonly used databases, Academic Search. In order to get to the library homepage from the college homepage, you can mouse over Student Support and click on Library. You can click on Student Support and scroll down under Academics to Library, or you can type it in directly, smc.edu slash library. Once there, you have a number of ways that you can go into your research, but today we're going to focus on databases. Check out our YouTube video for a broader website exploration for the College Library website. In the databases, you have a variety of ways to go as well. You can head into all subjects and break it down by databases that are specific to individual topics. You can look at database types, for example, if you're only looking for databases that have uh, scholarly or peer-reviewed articles. Keep in mind that neither of these include the broader databases that have journal articles, newspapers, videos, and other items in them. If you have the title of a database that you're looking for, <clears throat> you can look specifically by the title. Or you can look alphabetically. Since Academic Search starts with an A, it's right up at the top. Heading into Academic Search, if you are not currently logged on, if you are on your own device, um, or you're off campus, it will require you to log in with your Canvas credentials. And once there, you can determine what you want to search for and begin your search. <clears throat> you get a number of responses. You might get academic journals, you might get periodicals, which are anything that are not academic. They could be a magazine, a newsletter, a trade periodical, for example. And you may get many more than you want. So what you can do at that point is you can chat with a librarian to refine your search. You can also come over here and you can tell it, um, I want just the last five or 10 years. So you can narrow it by date. That cuts out quite a few. You can also say, I am required by my instructor to use a peer-reviewed journal article. So let me narrow that down. That will take out all of the periodicals and leave you just with academic journals. So in two refinements, I've gone from over 100 to 24. And that's a pretty good um, beginning point. That's two and a half pages worth of hits. If you still don't find what you're looking for when you go through here, you can also take a look at two different types of subject. Subject thesaurus term is when you want to broaden your, your search a bit because you're looking for terms that have other terms that mean the same thing. If you get too many hits and you want to narrow it, instead you can look for assigned subject headings that come from the Library of Congress, and they look only for those articles that have those subject headings attached to them. So if you have too many, go to subject. If you have too few, go to subject thesaurus term. Okay. And you'll notice that they are very different in the responses that they give you. <clears throat> Once you find something that looks interesting, you can click on it. It will give you information about the topic here, including subject terms attached to this that you can then search on and it will research the database for that specific topic. Information that the article author has put in that are not actual Library of Congress subject headings, but people might find them useful. An abstract, which is an author or database description of the article. It is not an annotation, that's a reader's interpretation of why this particular article would be useful, but this comes from the author about what they think is important about it. And then the actual article is attached in a PDF. If you like this article, you can save it to your Google or OneDrive. You can print it, email it, save it, and cite it. When you cite it, make sure that you find the correct citation format, depending on what your instructor has required. So for example, if you're in an English class, you might be using MLA. There are some things you need to change. For example, you don't use all caps in that. Um, so this you have to fix before you put into your paper. Use the template or example that your instructor gives you. Once you're finished with this, say, oh, I like this, I want to email it to myself. You can give it an email address that you're sending it to. Send the PDF as a separate attachment so you get it. And you can also tell it then, 
I want the citation included with your email. And what it will do is all of this information and the robot's attempt at the citation will be included in your email. And the PDF of it will be attached to the email. Do not send it in plain text format. If you do that, you will strip out all of the graphics and other useful information that you get when you go into the PDF. Once you're into the PDF, you can go back to your list of results by clicking Result List and continue your search. If you have any questions at any time, please ask us using Chat with a Librarian. If you contact us during the time that the library is open, if we are not otherwise teaching, you will talk to an SMC librarian. Otherwise, you will talk to a librarian from one of the colleges or universities in the International Consortium to which we belong. Good luck with your research. Take care.